good coffee, man. Ow! Really good coffee. <laughs> All right. Good coffee. How we doing, everybody? Thursday morning, it is Double R Radio. We're not live yet. The Gap Band, early in the morning. It's not really that early. It's uh, 8.43. Not really too early. Uh, we're going to go live here in about 20 seconds. So let me enjoy my coffee here a little bit, okay? Enjoy my coffee and uh, my coffee mug that you can always order at my store at robertreversradio.com. <laughs> The coffee is right on. It really, really is. Let's go live. There we go. The Gap Band. Early in the morning. Early in la mañana. El jueves por la mañana. Where are we at? Anyways, uh, January the 21st, 2021, 8.43. Good morning. Anyway, do not forget at 9 o'clock this morning, we're putting the spotlight on the year 1970. Man, 1976. 16 years old. I was so young. So innocent. Well, not really that innocent, but innocent enough. There we go. For the year 1976. Anyways, it's live on Facebook right now. Stop by and say hello, and I'll say hello back. And all this other good stuff. Good morning. Shout out to so Norma Sign Saturn. Good morning, Norma. How are we doing? Brenda Silva. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. The ever so political Michelle. Hey, Michelle, I really like that uh, that Biden uh, Harris cap that you got. Um, if you want to send me one, you know, I'd be okay with that. And Michelle, you can send me one. <laughs> Where'd you get that? Those look really, really cool. They'd look better on me than it would on you. If you want to send me one? I'm good with all that, okay? There we go. Anyways, it's the Thursday morning. Well, the inauguration is out of the way. And uh, let the games begin. Let's see what our new president does. Uh, president Biden. Really, man, I, I am excited about this. I really, really am. I think a lot of people were ready for a change. Let's just hope it's a good one. And uh, so far, so good. For Anyways, as to the inauguration had Lady Gaga performing the national anthem, Brooks performing uh, uh, what's it there? Amazing Grace. There we go. Uh, they also had uh, Jennifer Lopez. I don't know what she sang. She sang something. But anyways, I said, you know, man, you know, every time I see Jennifer Lopez, I always say, Selena. I really do. <laughs> I really do. Selena. But uh, it's not Selena. It's Jennifer Lopez. There we are. Well, anyways, I mean, it was a star-studded cast at the inauguration yesterday. And last night, man, the party even got heavier where they had a cast of all stars out there singing and doing their thing in celebration of our new president, Joe Biden. And, of course, along with that, they had one of the meanest fireworks displays. But let me tell you all, um, all kidding aside, I was thinking to myself, why, why couldn't I put on a firework display like that back in 1976? I used to get fireworks back in 76. I can remember uh, back in my teen years, we'll go 76, when we go buy fireworks, like for New Year's Eve, it was always smoke balls, cherry bombs, bottle rockets, Roman candles, black cats, blue cats, white cats, satellites. I mean, really, man, 20 bucks would take you a long way. They really, really would. I'll never forget one time this girl wanted me to take her out. I was 16 years old, and it was New Year's Eve, and I said, well, I don't have a car. I don't have a job, but I do have a $20 bill. I said, it's either go out with the girl and take her to Dairy Queen or buy $20 worth of firecrackers. And I said, well, um, I can buy firecrackers and... Uh, Put on a New Year's Eve firework display, or I can go out with the girl, and maybe she'll give me a personal display. I said, but there's no guarantees with the girl, but there's guarantees with the fireworks. So I chose the fireworks. There you go. And uh, did I make the right choice? To this day, I'll never know. Anyway, let's see what's going on out here in this crazy, crazy world. I don't want to miss anybody here. Good morning, John. I got out the Double R Radio sponsor. Cindy Martinez Hernandez, San Antonio, Texas. Letty Alvarez. Good morning. Good morning. Double R Radio sponsor. Cynthia Gonzalez Ramirez, Houston, Texas. Good morning, amiga. Double R Radio sponsor. Deborah Camarillo, Anaheim, California. Good morning, mi Califas girly. Also, good morning, John. I got out to Diana Casas. Buenos dias. Now, let's see what the hell's going on over here. Let me see here. I got some stories for y'all. Uh, check this out. Crazy story. Um, a toothbrush was removed from a man's stomach after he swallowed it while brushing. 
How does that happen? How in the hell can you swallow your toothbrush when you're brushing your teeth? How does that happen? That can't happen. Well, this man did it. He swallowed his toothbrush, and there you go. Well, anyways, just there, uh, they had to operate on a man to remove the toothbrush. They were telling him, we can either operate on you, or we can remove it anally. And he goes, I'll take the operation. There you go. <laughs> Smart choice. There we go. Anyway. Out. A coin was re removed from a man's nose after being stuck in his nose for more than 50 years. Wow! A man has finally had a coin removed from his nose after it was stuck for more than half a century. The 59-year-old uh, Russian man was uh, was aged just six when he wedged the money inside of his nostril. You know, um, when I was a kid, this is all true. You know, I did something you should never do. I had a quarter and a my mouth why i don't know tastes too good either but i, I tried swallowing the quarter why because i was looking to see if i'd get some change back <laughs> nah. uh. well anyways i did i tried swallowing a quarter and the quarter got stuck in my throat this is all true this is all true and remember Somebody was beating the crap out of the back of my neck but the quarter popped out Really, man? <laughs> what was I doing? Why was I doing that? I don't know. Let me see here what else is going on. Uh, don't let me miss anybody here. Good morning, John. I got out to Mary Estrada. Says, good morning, Robert. God bless you always. Thank you, Mary, and as you as well. There we go. And Linda Flores. Good morning, good morning, good morning. What is going on? We talked about the coin. We'll get over here. Now, check this out. Uh... Teenagers, where'd this happen at? Let me give you the low down here. Where in the hell did this happen at? There we go. Uh, Connecticut, teenagers were offering free squirts of hand sanitizers to shoppers in Connecticut. The kicker here was it wasn't really sanitizer. It was super glue. Well, anyways, these teenagers have been arrested for... Um, Tricking people into telling them, would you like some free hand sanitizer, ma'am? Yes! And they're going, next, would you like some free hand sanitizer, sir? Yes! And they go like that. And went, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> they couldn't even drive the car. So anyways, uh, there you go. The teenagers have been arrested. Que cabrones, right? Que cabrones, man. Who, who thinks, I mean, you know, this is something that I would have done back in 1976. No doubt about it. I would have done that. Why? Because I'm dumb. Well, I used to be. I'm not that dumb anymore, but I used to be. Anyways, uh, now check this out. An alleged white supremacist was arrested after his ankle monitor put him at the Capitol the day of the riot. Man, how can you have an ankle monitor on your ankle? You know you're going to get busted, and you still go to the Capitol and try to do some damage. Crazy, right? Well, anyways, just, uh, his ankle monitor showed him that day of the riot, him being at the riot. And uh, while well, he's been rearrested, and there you go. Pendejo. <laughs> All right. Good morning, Jada Ganazzi. Tony Rivas says, good morning, primo. Good morning, primo. Anyways, you know... I where am I at? I think I'm right there. We're good to go. Um, I was talking about this earlier that I went to HEB to buy a couple of things. No lie. I went to go buy a couple of things and I ended up spending $68. And um, I wasn't too happy about that. So what I'm going to start doing now, I'm only going to go to HEB when I got to buy a lot of things. That way um, I'll expect to spend $68 because when I go to HEB to buy a couple of things and I spend $68, that's not a good thing whatsoever. It really, really isn't. You know, um, I went to the meat section at HEB and I was looking to buy some pork chops. This is all true. And I told uh, the butcher, Hey, Mr. Butcher, can you come here for a minute, sir? Mr. Butcher, can you leave that meat alone and come over here for a minute, sir? And he goes, can I help you? And he's wearing a hairnet, right, and stuff like that. I go, sir, um, pork chops. Um, I see you got packs of five pork chops, but I only need four. Can you take one pork chop out? He goes, no, I can't. And I go, why not? He goes, because I can't. But I only need four. He goes, well, I'm sorry, sir. You got to buy all five. But I only need four. He goes, I don't care. You, you got to buy all five. But I only want four. He goes, I I'm sorry. I can Man. So uh, I was forced to buy five pork chops yesterday when I only needed four. But that's okay. 
That's BJHEB cabrones. <laughs> really, man. Now, also on a side note, let me tell y'all this. This is all true. I love HEB frozen pizzas. If you've never tried them, try them. They're excellent, but they're even better when you throw toppings on top of it. Really, man. Like whenever I pull out a frozen pizza, I always I'll put some mushrooms on there. I'll tear in some ham on there and some jalapenos and BAM! It's excellent, man. It's It saves you paying $15 for that delivery. Pizza Hut, Domino's, Papa John's, right? Well, anyways, yesterday I couldn't find the pepperoni. I couldn't find it because then I like putting extra pepperoni on my pizza. So I went and found the guy at HB and said, Hey, dude, dude um, where's your pepperoni? If you wait for me after 5 o'clock, sir, I'll show you where, where my paper. So, no, dude, no, no. So, he goes, oh, okay, I'm sorry. I thought you were hitting on me. I said, no, dude, I'm not hitting on you. Give me a break. So, he goes, your pepperoni's right over there, sir, and here's my number just in case. So, anyways, um, I got everything I needed. I spent $68, and there you go. Also, I got a hell of a deal on Michelob Ultra. If you buy a case of Michelob Ultra, you get a free bag of pork rinds. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, you can't go wrong with that. Buy a case of beer, get a free bag of pork rinds. Hey, man, that sounds like a deal to me. I took it. That's right. Let me see here. I don't know if there's anybody here. Good morning, Jedi. I'm Mr. Mike Gonzalez. He said, good morning, Robert, my brother. Good morning, Mike. How you doing, amigo? My daughter says, uh, uh-oh. Uh my daughter starting trouble. Jeanette Rivas, good morning, amiga. She goes, Daddy, what does pendejo mean? Amiga, amiga. My daughter told me a story. I, I didn't I, I didn't realize this that my daughter knows her Spanish very, very well. She told me that some driver at Walmart almost hit her car. And uh, she got out of the car and said, Hey viejo pendejo and I told her, Mika, I can't believe you told him that. Why would you do that? She goes, Dad, you do it all the time. I said, When have you seen me cuss at anybody? Dad, every time you drive you're cussing somebody out that all the time. I said, really? Oh, yeah, then and your favorite word is pendejo or pendeja. Really? I didn't realize that. Huh. Well, well, it is what it is. There we go. I guess it got uh, <laughs> passed down to my kids, right? Now my kids are using those words. Good morning, John. I'm going to have to Santa Barbara, California's very own Mr. Pepe Marquez. Good morning, amigo. Anyway, I tell you what, we are five minutes away. We're going to go back in time. We're going to go to the year 1976 and see exactly what happened in that year. Let's get me going to do a little Uptown Funk. Good morning, Double R Radio. How we doing, everybody? Uh, where we at? Uh, Thursday morning, uh, 9.55. Getting ready to put the spotlight on the year, 1976. Join me now, robertrivasradio.com. Simple, Roberto Rivas, radio.com. Join me now, year, 1976. Let me click. 